And so um, very quickly the Iranian people said, wait a minute, this is not what we signed up for. Is that perhaps maybe because we serve a God of second chances, maybe one of the reasons the Muslims are here among us now is because we didn't go to them. We have an obligation as Christians, as Jews, as any belief, but as Americans to stand up and say the truth. Because if we don't do this, the greatest abuser of Muslims in the world are other Muslims who are practicing. They were calling to ask me to keep stirring it up because they could not do anything in their positions. Exactly. I was, exactly. It was an opener for me to realize that the power to make change happens on our local level. Yes. And through just average men and women like me speaking out. And Here is a known terrorist group. I believe they've got very strong known ties to Hamas and some of the others. They're clearly one of the leading organizations in the Muslim Brotherhood. They were found to be one of the unindicted co-conspirators in the Holy Land Foundation trials in 2008 where the Bush administration prosecuted uh, the Holy Land Foundation which mm -hmm. and they were going down the list and CARE is on that list uh, found by that court to be an unindicted co-conspirator. Which would be casting down arguments against everything that's, that comes against the knowledge of God and be seeking to take every, cap, every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. I can't think of another religious system today that stands in direct opposition to Christianity and is, and is, and is fomenting arguments against the true God, Christianity, than Islam. Makeup became illegal. And so there was a period there where those rules were very violently and um, brutally enforced. And so the population got the message very quickly. So they had to subdue the women to... to well, they had to subdue the men too. I mean, men could no longer wear short sleeves. They had to wear long sleeves. And so there are stories, which I have no reason to doubt, that they would spray paint men's arms you know, because they didn't have on long sleeves, or they would throw acid in a woman's face for wearing makeup, or slice off her lips with a razor because she had a lipstick. So they were very, very brutal. Educate. Are you going into the school to challenge, or are you challenging your ministry? So right there off the top is as a teacher, as a parent, uh, as a school board member, look in the school books and see what's being done. We did a, a project here of Tex Truth in Texas Textbooks.com where we found 1,500 errors. 50 people altered what 5 million children are going to study. Those 50 people should have their name put on a wall somewhere. And I only led the group, but they did all the hard work. One of the common lies, one of the common misconceptions that we're told in our media is that Islam means peace. Well, that's not true at all. Every Muslim knows this. Every Muslim knows that, that phrase to be a lie. Because Islam does not mean peace. Islam means to submit. But, but at its core politically, it's a state's rights matter. And if not this issue, if the majority of a state cannot determine this issue, then I ask the courts what would be the issue of the day for the states to decide. Because it seems like we've given or conceded or through apathy allowed our rights as a state to be taken away. So we've got to stay focused on uh, the constitutional uh, element and discussion of this, and it's a state rights matter. The gun discrimination rights. It was going to be snuck through the city. Nobody knew anything about it. Huh? It was not on the radar. The mayor had done it quietly and intended to put it through very quietly. It, now, ex for those that don't know in my audience, what all did that, in what ways did that impact the citizens? It was going to impact if you showed, if you said anything negative about homosexuality or lesbianism, you'd lose your city contracts. There was a bathroom ordinance that, you, that you know, it had all that stuff in it. It's, ours got watered down a little bit, and but there's still enough in it. You can be fined five. I think it's five hundred dollars a day if it, by the city, if they think you've done something. And wow. I've had, I, we've had a bathroom incident here. Wow. So we were tested. We've we've helped pass thirty five laws in about seventeen states that have begun to stop that from a legislative cycle. We have a bill here in Texas that we're working to get passed to stop foreign laws from being applied in court system. Based on Bible, um, I think it's 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 says, test all things and hold fast to that which is good. 
and the oath that I took in the Air Force of protect and defend against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that didn't go away when I retired 15 years ago. What kind of pastor sits by and doesn't stand by his members when they're wounded? Yes. They understand it to be a women's rights issue, and they're right about yes. that. Uh, Sin is no big deal. Really? And, and what I mean by that, let, let me give you an illustration. The Muslim concept of salvation is based on scales, heavenly scales. Um, Surah 23, verses 102 and 103 in the Quran say that those whose scales of good deeds are heavy, they are the successful, but those whose scales of good deeds are light, they are those who are the losers, and hell will they abide forever. What Muslims are taught is that at birth, every person is assigned to recording angels, one sits on each shoulder. Wow. One angel records one's good deeds, and one angel records one's bad deeds, and on the day of judgment, you stand before Allah, Heavenly scales are, take, are, 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 take, are brought out before you, and your good deeds are and bad deeds are placed on opposing sides of the scale. And if your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds, then you can hope to win Allah's favor. But, but it's not guaranteed. But it's not guaranteed. But here's the cool, here, here's the interesting thing. What does that have to say about the bad deeds? You wow. can sin all you want, as long as you got more good to offset it. Wow. But you can have an impact and influence, but you can't be quiet anymore. We weren't supposed to be to begin with, but see that's what that's something most people most people miss. You, you miss the concept in Islam. Sin is no big deal. Uh, the American Bar Association uh, four years ago came out with a report and stated uh, that these discordant laws that are Sharia backed are in many instances discriminatory against women and may yes. in fact not only be invalid but be illegal under our. Uh, codes under our laws. Because knowledge is what we will do to really begin to turn this around. And you ask, what, what does it take? It takes knowledge. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 through 5 says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but are spiritual for pulling down strongholds. That is an erosion of liberty for everybody. Yes. More importantly in the family court cases there have been 142 cases at the appellate level in 32 states that have used Sharia law here in the United States. And people think of Britain or Europe and, oh, that's where that goes on. It's happening here, and most of the time it's oppressing other Muslims, particularly Muslim women and Muslim children, because they don't have the same rights as they have in a family court, U.S. family court cases. They have more rights here than they do in allowing, a judge allowing that to occur. But it would cover any foreign law, not just Sharia, but any, no foreign law should ever come into play in a U.S. court system by the Article 6 of the Constitution. And yet, I would say that the majority of Sharia is more or less jihad. Catholic groups, looking in, if you just look in 1964, the Catholic Church put in uh, Catechism 841 that basically equates Islam to the other Abrahamic religions and gives them equal status that we're all worshiping the same God. So for Catholic members who are unaware of that, think about the comp what that really means. The Pope has told you, you have no reason to question anything that goes on with Islam. And yet, they are killing Catholics, Christians, Jews, non-believers. Well, how can we be worshiping the same God if it's okay Muslims are saying, I can kill you under the name of Allah. That's troublesome. And well, their goal is to introduce everybody to Islam and have them come under submission to Allah. And that's, according to the Muslim definition, that's when the world will know real peace. Now, there's no question about it. And why we would allow a terrorist organization onto the state capital grounds to begin right. to tell us, to tell our lawmakers how they should ponder and decide on issues of any kind, much less issues surrounding our Constitution is beyond me. As I did, I was a cynic before I got down here. I was a rock thrower is what I tell people. Now that I'm inside catching the rocks, I've been encouraged by the fact that if people come down, truly participate, maybe not getting what they hope to achieve, but if they participated, the process works and it's better. And more often than not, we get it pretty close to right.